people. I got a lot of explaining to do. Um, it's a different garage. It's a different house in a different state. Uh, a lot of explaining to do, but uh, I'll get to that video probably next. What we're trying to get here done today is get this here old rest of the turbo out. It is super bright right now. Um, I already started getting some pieces out earlier today and I also got a brand new AMS intercooler um, that needs going to hatch is going to my friend this I'm taking to work uh, my little bench setup garage is about the same size set up a little bit differently I'm not gonna be able to have two shelves probably put that into the office or sell it but uh, people we bought the house from left us a fridge so we're using that for beer oh keep that Got all the yingling in the world out here. Um, D46 is here. Yeah, so we'll, I'll give y'all a semi-full house tour when it comes down to it. But today, I'm trying to get, like I said, this old turbo out and the new intercooler in. That way I can sell this racing line intercooler, give me some money back. New turbo should be here within the next week or so. Don't quote me on it. Um, yeah, that's all I got for right now. So I'm gonna set the camera up. Do a little time lapse. Uh, I got a buddy coming by here soon. Haven't met him in person yet. Talked to him online a whole bunch, but he needs his fuel pump swapped out, so he'll be swapping out his fuel pump as well. I gotta get the truck out the way so we can fit in here, but yeah. Welcome. All right, y'all, I've been wrenching away. It's another day. I got caught up. Uh, met up with Raheem yesterday. I didn't even, I should have recorded. His R is so nice. He got a Mark 7.5. We did his fuel pump. He checked out his high pressure fuel pump. Um, his old fuel pump was definitely dead as shit. It was a, a 450, but they looked at the, I sure took a picture at least, the filter on that thing was like almost totally black. And so we, we installed a new one. Had a little trouble because the one wire pulled out of the crimp connector and whatever, whatever. We got it all done. Instantly his rail pressure jumped and his duty cycle jumped. So I think that was definitely the fix for his car. It was really nice meeting him. We're watching his brother. Thanks for coming by. Um, well, yeah, thanks for coming by and bringing the gifts and stuff. Really appreciate it. He's a super dope guy. I can't wait to go up to New York and hang out with him, meet his people, see his streets. It'll be dope. Later this summer, hopefully make it up. Anyway, back to the turbo here. Um, just holding on by this last bolt. I don't want to take it out yet. I'm going to drain coolant because I'm going to swap the intercooler and drain oil. See how the oil looks. I don't suspect anything happened to the motor at all. Just for good measure, um, when we pull the front end off, we'll pull all the pipes out, clean everything out, um, post up the, I'm talking to a guy right now that might buy the racing line intercooler. Actually, I'll just go inside of here real quick, we'll unbox the AMS, I still haven't unboxed it yet. So we'll unbox that real quick, drain the oil, check that out. I left my oil filter wrench at work, so uh, I'll get to that another time and swap filters, I should. I still have one, yep, I got one good filter left, so not to buy. Order up a couple more from shop that. But uh, let's go unbox this uh, the center core. I'm excited to see what it looks like. Hopefully it's not damaged, but it's been like two weeks since I got it, I think. <laughs> Hopefully this is good enough. Okay, Google. Pause. Hopefully this is a good enough angle. I don't feel like grabbing my stuff. You guys don't know who AMS is. You should be your home. Oh, it came with new boost pipes. What's up? Didn't know that was a thing. So uh, I'm still using an OEM one and an APR one, but this will be, if it came with clamps too, that'll be extra dope. Oh yeah, it did. And I think that's a bolt for intercooler tabs. So they sent me some stickers, a little packet. That's awesome. I had no idea that that came with it. So that's a very pleasant surprise. Dang, okay. Um, AMS is supposed to be one of the lightest and best flowing intercoolers for our platform um, it doesn't if you look at just the flow tests um, from what is it the golf mk7.com or whatever tests flow isn't everything flow does not mean that it's the best intercooler there's different intercoolers that aren't the top that perform better real world real real world than you know what I mean so this is definitely it doesn't flow anywhere near the top but from what I've heard from real world use this thing is one of the top dogs, and I believe it. Because AMS, I mean, they have 
23, you know, 3,000 horsepower GTRs with world records. Crazy, they're crazy cars. Crazy people, I trust them. And they, I, in my opinion, they make one of the best looking uh, intakes on the market too for us. So, let me cut this tape off. I know these fins are fragile. So we'll just cut one side off here to take a gander. And since I don't have the, woo, the uh, AC condenser in the front anymore, I'm a little worried that these might get damaged, but that's neither here nor there. I'm gonna have to grab the vacuum. She's gonna scream at me. But uh, hopefully this unit doesn't fall down. It looks very, very nice. Doesn't seem to have any damage on it. Packaged very well. I like that. That little AMS logo. I'll take these tabs out because I don't need those. Looks uh, looks very, very nice. Ability machinery here. Nice slots for the um, radiator. Wow, that would be nice. I wonder if this is stock diameter and if we'll have to compare these to the racing line but, uh, that, well, how many clamps they give me one two they give me four clamps I'm not sure what this little bolt is for maybe it'll pop up later somewhere <laughs> I don't realize but yeah, that looks great looks really good all right back in the box so guys been a couple days trying to this new job we haven't really talked about yet and I'll get more on that later because I don't know if I'm going to stay with it. I don't want to get, get too hyped about it, but got a pretty decent job. Well, the job itself is decent, not the pay. <laughs> um, doing things and haven't had much time to do much of anything. So uh, I'm trying to get the turbo back to Ed so we can talk about doing bigger stuff. I'm trying to get this intercooler out today as well. Um, so I can at least compare sizes and maybe weights with the rates or with the AMS to the racing line. But I got uh, just drained the coolant, made a nice mess. Oil's drained. It looks slightly questionable. So I'm definitely gonna drop the pan, make sure everything looks good in there. Um, but we are just need to get the water lines and the the bottom oil line out, and she should be able to just turn sideways and come on out. We'll see how, how well that goes. I know it won't. <laughs> Good. You can turn it off for now. No. Good. Pry action here. Dose. And the oil one should pop right off. Um, just need to grab a 12. We'll take this last turbo boat off. Hopefully I don't need to take any of the solenoids out. And this big old downpipe in the way, I might, I might have to. We'll see how this goes. See how this turbo actually looks in hand, all broken. You can see how the heat that got to it over the last, what? It was 40,000 or 35,000 miles-ish. I put this turbo through freaking hell. I kind of feel bad. I do feel bad, not kind of. I shouldn't have ran the turbo in the state that it was. After knowing that that DV, the vertical valve stuff went through it, but I was like, I gotta send it. It's the last event out there at West Texas. I gotta get out there and show face. Um, you guys know how much I love my racing, so I had to get her done. Well, that bottom oil line was still a pain in the butt, even with half a turbo installed. Uh, took out some of the solenoids, got the top line out of the way because I couldn't get this dang bar out. That six mil must be pretty seized in there with heat or whatever. It would not budge. So I think now I should be able to just get this baby on out. Scratching up my head a bunch. There we go. There we are. All right. Let's take a look at the carnage. Yeah, that's one messed up turbo. <laughs> Ed, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. And then we have a whole, uh, I'm not gonna take them all out. You guys can get a decent look here of at least what they found on the track. Some, uh, most of the compressor there. I'm hoping nothing too crazy got into the pipes, but I don't know if I'll get that far today or not. I guess we got some time still. Might be able to get that intercooler out. 
but uh, this is all going in the box. See, it's like most of it. And you still got the intercooler to catch all the things, and then uh, there's still, I have the stock pipe from the intercooler going up, and that has like a mesh type thing in it, but let's get my O2 sensor off, but uh, I mean, so it still doesn't have that much shaft play. I mean, really, <laughs> that's crazy. I wonder what, how that white is formed or what, how that all works. Oh, she lived a good life. Just blew right out of there, huh? That's crazy. <laughs> Used IS20 hybrid for sale. <laughs> Let me go. Dang. That's crazy. Well, I'm gonna send it to him. Hopefully he sends at least the the cold side back. I wanna mount this on the wall. You know, she doesn't want me to. Uh, there you go guys. That's uh, that's that. <laughs> get this dang O2 sensor out. Hopefully, that don't give me too much of a fight. About to finally take the M out here in uh, the new the new town we're in for the first time. But we got got this baby off. I did want to let you guys know the pipes or the hoses are bigger on the ends for the AMS. So this just I mean, like engulfs that. So this obviously tapers down. It should fit the stock pipe, get rid of this. I'll have to get rid of the APR one. And then the EQT one, I'm hoping, because this side tapers down as well, that this will still fit. This looks like it's the same size all the way through and this engulfs that. So I'm hoping this side will fit that. I'll, I'll check that out tomorrow. Swap the intercoolers, get the front end back on, and uh, wait for this turbo to show up. I just got the invoice for it, so. We'll be paying for that tonight. All right, guys, not recording too much today. Got a whole mess of things going on, but here you go. You can see the AMS out in its glory. Compare that to the racing line, which is uh, significantly thicker. Yeah, by at least a good little bit. But this weighs uh, 11 pounds less. So this is 29 something. Let me see if I can do this with the camera without dropping things. Um, I do this real funny like Ugh. this is a pain doing it by yourself let's see if she'll read well it's reading 28.9 but I read 29.9 earlier let me see if I can lift it up and do it again no oh, whatever either way Ugh. lock that bad boy over there do this all in one clip I can get it over with this baby's much easier to handle. Can't really hold this up. We're going, we're going. 17 one. Let me lift it up again. Lay it down. Eh, 17 one. So, whatever. I got different stuff on pictures a minute ago when I weighed them three times each without a camera in my hand, but still over 10 pounds savings. Get the camera to look, you can kind of see the thickness difference, but everybody that runs this AMS tells me it performs like one of the best. Like next up to do 88 APR and uh, what's the other one? IE. So we'll see. Kind of mixing two videos here together, but um, doing stuff with her car today in one video, which you'll probably see after this. So make sure y'all watch that, please. It was a good time. But I got some uh, seal stuff here for the gaps around the side. I'm hoping I can let me flip my camera back. Hopefully I can fill these gaps here, here. Oh, this shit goes to an inch, so it'll definitely fill this uh, and down here that up and up here looks like it's actually pretty good which I was hoping for so I'll cut some up and throw some around up here like these gaps and stuff but really just want to fill up these spots along the sides and the bottom so let's we'll see what we can finagle all right just got done with the expandable foam the corners do not look the best but I think it's gonna work 
Like it's pretty pretty well tight in there. Got it going all across the top. The corners, like I said, are not the prettiest, but I got it all done. I think overall it's really gonna help the air. Air will go whatever the easiest route for it is. So if there's resistance going through the intercooler, which obviously there would be, it'd be easier for the air to go around it, above it, below it, and to be a you know a decent percentage of air just not going through. So we can get as much air going through the intercooler as possible, it'll be more efficient. Same with the radiator right behind it. So eventually I want to do like a whole custom crash bar slash you know which I'm gonna call it for this whole assembly but um, I don't have money for that so <laughs> for now this is what we're doing in time we'll, we'll, we'll make our own stuff but hopefully this helps this intercooler should be a lot better than the racing line and I will let you guys know uh, obviously I'm not gonna be running the same setup as I was before turbo isn't here yet but uh, it'll be uh, an exciting time once she is. I'm gonna slap everything back together here real quick. Get a shower. We're gonna go out and do some things. Give you guys a sneak preview of what's. Uh... Okay, that's enough. <laughs> I'll pick up the camera here once she's all back together. Yeet. All right. Well, I got most of things put together here. Um, show you guys a little bit more of the foam here once it focuses. I went across the top sides there it's finally like expand it says it takes like about an hour to fully expand so i might tuck some of it back up in there a little bit i might trim it a little bit it, i don't think it really doesn't matter no one's ever going to see it but but mainly across the bottom here that was a huge gap the sides weren't too too terrible except for like near the top like this like from about where the crash bar is up and like this whole area this area right here was huge i'm sure a bunch of air was getting through there so definitely got all that doubled up really happy with that hopefully we'll see uh some really good air intake temps out of that i'll be sure to show you guys comparisons um and logs even though the turbos won't be the same and the altitude is way different and this that there's a lot of variables but with more power with more power and this intercooler and if this intercooler does better then you know it's significantly better since we're putting more power through the car and it's being more efficient yada 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 i also didn't have this foam stuff obviously around the last intercooler so there's quite a few variables, but my bet is that this will do better. And if it doesn't, then we'll add math, call it a day. Really want to, don't want to do math, but <laughs> if I got to, I will. So, oh, and I lost some headlight hardware. I lost the screws to go into the front spots and into the side spots. I don't know where they are. Hopefully she's seen them around somewhere or I have them sitting in whatever pair of shorts I was working on the car in that day. I'm about to go look, but I can't find them. I, I keep everything bagged and labeled and I just, I don't know what happened to them. Like all the rest of the bolts and hardware for these, this stuff, these three were all together. I don't know why the other two wouldn't be. And it's not sitting in my cow anywhere. I looked all around the car, in the car. I don't know where they would have got to. I'm a little upset, but if I gotta order them, I gotta order them. Whatever, so anyway. Stay tuned for the next one, guys. Appreciate you a lot if you made it this far. Make sure you hit the link down below. Check out the merch. We're really help brother out. Um, yeah, hopefully this turbo shows up this coming week and I can make that video for you. Super stoked. I'm ready to break 600 for you guys and go out and just rip the shit out of this car as soon as I can. Like we'll be out. I'll be trying to find meets, trying to find races, make bets, doing highway rolls, digs, track nights, autocross, you know, the whole shebang. Time to get my summer, my season starting way late. So I am ready to get out and bang some gears. Just, I'm so excited to be out here. You guys, just, it's unimaginable. It's, I'm, I'm so freaking happy. Got a trailer out here on the side of the house. <clears throat> yeah, anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, hit that thumbs up and I'll catch you on the flip side.